Well, the domestic demand has been quite weak, actually, since the beginning of the year, and that's largely anticipated. And much of the imports is in, uh, intended to be used for exports. And we have seen that export have been declining uh, on this declining trend since February. And even for the March data, there were a lot of disagreements on the quality of the data. Because when we look at the custom data, there were a lot of volatilities and are much higher than people had anticipated. But if we look at the data collected by the National Bureau of Statistics, and they have this one indicator called industrial goods delivery. It has been in contraction. Uh, since the beginning of the year, and that has largely in line with the economic perception of the manufacturing industry. So the bottom line is China is still part of the Asian supply chain. Its performance in export cannot deviate too much from its neighboring countries. And we have seen that ASEAN countries' performance in export have been quite weak since February as well. So China has been the most important segment of the industrial supply chain in Asia, but it's not the exception. So is China then, the world's well, second biggest economy, really going to be able to pull the weight here and be the saviour for the global economy in terms of growth if we continue to see data like this? Well, for China's economic growth this year, there are a lot of worrying signs. Although the economic recovery in services and consumption have been quite encouraging, but as far as we can tell, those performance may not be as sustainable as many uh, market participants have been expecting, um, because the income growth has permanently slowed uh, since COVID has started. And this year on the city level, the income growth has been stagnating around 1% uh, for major cities in China. And that translated into consumption. Uh, and we have seen a pretty weak performance in China's largest 30 cities. And on top of that, there's also a slowdown in the housing recovery. Uh, two weeks ago, the biggest news was that China has finished its national real estate registration system, and many people have taken it as a sign for the coming of a real estate tax. Once that happens, that means even a weak performance for the housing market. And we know that housing market is a leading indicator for future consumption, especially for durable goods like a cars. Um, so, uh, we have to wait for a few months to see whether the momentum of the current recovery can continue.